good day friends it is me hl mod tech and i am back with another tinkercad design but friends today we're going to do it on an ipad so let's get cracking so the first thing i'm going to tell you is when you sign in choose sign in with google that is the way i do it if you do it different in your class that's fine if you see a tutorial just cancel out of it from the main screen which you can get to by clicking the tinkercad button i would like you to choose create new design when the interface shows up I want to show you this little view cube when you click on it it's what lets you adjust the world so you can see I talk a lot about clicking on corners there's the top and then if you hit a corner you get a view that's got a cooler perspective so we're going to use that a lot I just want you to know it's there if you ever get your world messed around like I just did you can tap home to get back to the normal where the work plane is down here these are our basic shapes if you click this you can hide them temporarily to bring them back you just use the little arrow the first shape I would like you to find is the cylinder when you find it drag it out and drop it it takes a second to land but once you've got it there we're gonna use this to create an airplane speaking of what we're gonna create let's change the name so notice I clicked up there and I'm gonna type jet so that way it's a little shorter and then I also like to put my initials so I can find it later click out on the other screen to cancel it out we're gonna take our jet and we're gonna make it longer now you can stretch the handle although I had a hard time grabbing it there instead what I'm gonna do is click on the box and I'm gonna type the number so you can see it takes a little practice to get used to this once you do you can then backspace and type in the number you want I'm gonna tell you that the number we want is 80 and tell it OK so this is gonna be the fuselage of our aircraft now this is where we need to look at it from the corners we need to find that rotation handle up there and we want to rotate it 90 now dragging is tricky you can get good at it but instead what I want you to do is click it and then we're gonna type the number in the box so where it said zero, I am going to change that to 90 and press enter. Turn on my numbers, nine zero, and tell it OK. So my world was locked, and what I did was I just backed out, and then I re-entered, and I was able to play again. I'm not exactly sure what I clicked to get it locked up, but if you see this in your classroom or you see this on your device, this is a fast way to bounce out, and then re-enter and I was able to get back to my design just like I would expect to if you ever don't like what you did just do undo and then we want to use this handle to lower it down so I'm grabbing that cone and I want to get it down to zero once again if you miss you could click and type the number you want now I want to put the front of my aircraft right here so what I'm gonna do is click the work plane button and I'm gonna to touch that spot right there if I do fit view you can see that it's flat on that face and I want to go down and add the paraboloid when I bring this out I can get it close to that spot I'm gonna put my work plane back on the ground an easy way is to hit home hit work plane and then I want to click on that flat edge alright friends so now that we've got it connected to the front of the cylinder we need to align it double click so it's click click hold and stretch <laughs> that time I was successful and I canceled it out so it's click click and stretch there it shows that the two are selected and what that does is it allows us to use the align tool now when you use a line we want to use the orange one as the master so I'm gonna click it and then that gives us that center dot that we want to click right there we also want it centered here mine already was but you'd be clicking that dot to get them aligned when you click out here you can now take a look at your fuselage with the front of the nose cone we need to add a wing and we're gonna make our wing with the roof when you bring the roof out it is not rotated the right way so we're gonna click on that rotation arrow and we're gonna rotate it by 90 once again my favorite way is to click backspace switch to the numbers and type 90 and hit OK now that looks a bit like a wing but it's a little bit small so what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit fit view I wanna use the black handle to stretch it 
I like these because it only goes one direction at a time. I can hit fit view again or I can hit home and see how big it is. Now that we understand how that black handle works, we can stretch it so that our wing looks pretty darn nifty. Now this wing is super thick, so let's change it. Instead of 20, let's backspace. Once again, I like to switch to the numbers. And I'm going to say 2 and OK is a good thickness for a wing. Alrighty friends, since we've got the front of the airplane lined up, let's do tap, tap, select. And let's group them, so that way they stay together. Alright friends, so we're going to do tap, tap, select. I've got those selected, and we're going to do a line. And I've already got this one to the middle. Now i got to get this one to the middle. And then I also want it to the middle over here. I'm going to click over here, and now we can orbit and take a look at our sweet wings on our aircraft. Friends, it may take you a few tries to get it so it's the way you want. If you ever miss, don't forget to undo. And make sure you're patient as you're playing. I want to make my wing a little longer, so I just stretch it with the black handles. That is one of the fun things about working with the iPad. At this point too, I want to switch and just have the fuselage. And I'm going to make the fuselage just a little longer. Notice I was using the black handle. I'm going to just show you real quick. If you grab the white handle, it goes two directions at one time. And that breaks things. So you got to get good at finding those little black handles as you make it. Now friends, we are going to use this exact same part for the horizontal stabilizer. To do that, you're going to hit duplicate, and then we're going to just slide it to the back, and then we're going to shrink it so it's the right size. You can pick whatever size that is. Alright friends, so if you ever lose control, like this isn't responding like I want right now, I am just going to go back to the main screen and then come back in. I found that's the easiest way to get my system working back the way I want and limiting my frustrations. Alright, so right now this piece is kind of in my way. So I'm going to hit hide so that way I can easily select this piece, find the black handles, and get it the exact way I want. That time I accidentally rotated, I just wanted to make it a little bit thinner. That's what I was shooting for. Then I can use the light bulb to bring everything back. And then friends, we need to get this all aligned. So once again, I'm going to do tap, tap, drag. And I'm trying to get it all. That time I did get it all. I'm going to hit align. And I want them all to be centered. Now I want my wing to stay where it is. So I'm right now going to select those two and I'm going to group it. Alright friends, so I'm going to pull the green piece close, or the horizontal stabilizer, close to where I want it. And now I'm going to double click and select. Notice this does take a lot of practice. Having two hands without a camera would probably be easier too. Once again, I'm going to say I want it in the middle. There's my align. There's my middle button. And then I also want it in the middle on this side. Just get used to try, try again. Let's see if we can get it this time. There we go. So I want to make these colors fun. So I'm going to click on this back one. I'm going to choose a fun pink. Friends, it's time to add a vertical stabilizer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on my horizontal stabilizer and choose fit view. I'm going to click on the fuselage and choose hide. I'm going to put the work plane on top of that shape and I'm going to bring out the wedge. Now if I choose fit view and look at that from a corner, you can see that that wedge is the opposite way. We're going to fix that by using the mirror tool and flipping it just like that. We can click anywhere else and just use this to make it skinny. And then I'm going to do show all to bring everything back. I need to make that a little taller because it's going to be buried in the fuselage. So I'm going to do that. Now let's choose home. Put the work plane back on the ground. I'm going to do the double click and grab everything. And friends, we are going to do a line. And we want them all to be centered. And we want them to be 
to the back once again I missed I'm gonna spin it around so I can maybe see that one better tap tap drag tap tap drag and then there's a line and we want that dot right there bingo we have got an airplane how sweet is that I'm gonna group it all I like all those colors remember if it turns into one color you just need to enable multicolor the next piece I want to add is a canopy we're gonna put that on top of this wing so I'm gonna click down here I'm gonna click the work plane click the wing and bring out a half sphere I'm gonna hit fit view to zoom in on it and I wanna stretch it forward I'm gonna pinch to zoom out a little bit and just drag that pink piece where I want make it a little thinner with the black handles and a little longer with the black handles let's get it in an angle that looks cool I'm gonna raise it up so it pops out of there if you don't like how you move it just hit undo I'm trying to find that white handle and I missed there is exactly what I'm thinking about hit undo on that move I'm gonna pinch to zoom out even easier let's tap home put the work plane on the ground I'm gonna do the double click select let's hit align one more time and make sure we hit that center button friends you have just designed a sweet little Tinkercad jet with an iPad and to wrap it up all you need to do is hit Tinkercad and it saves to the cloud automatically alrighty friends so there you have it Tinkercad jet drawn on an iPad friends it's a little bit of extra work but it is possible and I bet you some people are gonna make some pretty epic things using these skills friends if you enjoyed the video please give it a like if you got a question comment or a suggestion add it down below if you haven't subscribed yet what are you waiting for smash that subscribe button and last but not least hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me HL Mod Tech thanks for watching have a great day